you show it, Chad? Yes. Good evening. Welcome to Tactical Talk with Mad Dog Armory. I am your host, Jillian Biltz, and this is my partner. Chad. Hi. Shad, and welcome. Uh, we are here every Friday and join you from 6 to 7 p.m. Yep. on Area 52 TV. 51. Is it 51? Yeah. Is it 51 or 52? 59. 52, he said. 60. Area 52. <laughs> um, we are so excited to be here with you guys. We've missed you. Area 52, thank you. <laughs> thank you. That's what I thought it was. I'm like, yeah, it's 52. Anyway. Okay. Hmm. Hmm. Maybe I might have been right. No, you're right. Just this one time. You're right. Just once. Once. Okay, so Area 52 <laughs> is bringing us to you, so thank you to them, because how awesome is this? We are the owners of Mad Dog Armory, which is, um, we, we own two gun shops and training centers in the Tampa Bay area, mm -hmm. and Mad Dog Armory is a passion of ours. We opened our first shop in 2016, and we've been growing ever since. We are super passionate about firearm education and training and all that good stuff. Um, yeah. Our stores provide you with a friendly and knowledgeable staff and um, you never have to feel intimidated or anything like that. So we're very excited to be here and bring you all different kinds of things that we talk about, different products, um, news, industry stuff. So we appreciate all you. to A. All, all to A. Styles. Yes. Yeah. Second Amendment. We're patriots. We love our country. Um, just like many, many, many yes. gun owners. That's right. Um, so we are excited to be here and uh, bring you today's show. We've missed you guys. I know. We haven't Had been here. Hiatus. Yeah, we haven't been here for a couple of weeks. I was. Uh, I, I took off to. Uh, a little vacation, and then we had some other things going on. Yep. So uh, we definitely missed being here, so we're happy to be back. Thank you for joining us. Um, as you know, our Second Amendment is under attack, so we really, really appreciate you sharing, liking, subscribing to right. our YouTube channel, our Facebook channel, um, and you can go back and watch other shows that we've, we've put on. This is number 23. I think so. 23. Yeah. That's sunny. Yeah. Almost, along. almost at two dozen. That's right. So, dozen. yeah. Exactly. So uh, super excited about show 23. And uh, today we're going to talk about safes and safely storing your firearms. Awesome. Um, I hope I'm not... Uh, safely storing your firearms and different options that are out there for you. A lot of people think, you know, you have to have this big old bulky safe, which is a great option for people that have, you know, a lot of stuff, sure. but not everybody has the space or the financial means or, uh, mm -hmm. so we have tons of other options for you that we're going to go over right. to help you safely store your firearm and yeah. have it accessible to you when you need it because right. there is a balance there. Yeah. Um, and then we're also going to go over a ton of industry news and different headlines and things like mm -hmm. that for you today. And um, so so we're excited about that. Some new shit with Shad, I think. Oh, yeah? Um, we have new shit with Shad today? So. Did you know that, Rob? New shit with Shad? Yeah. We're yes. We have some new shit with Shad. Oh, great. Awesome. Yeah, because I know there's a, a few new things that have mm -hmm. come out by SIG. One is by SIG. Mm -hmm. and. Um, and I have a shadow systems that we're going to talk about. Okay. Kind of new-ish. So the shadow systems is like a, they call it the Gucci Glock, right? We, we call it the Gucci Glock. Yeah. Oh, you, yeah. is that our thing or well, is that something know. that they... We, we just kind of started calling it the Gucci Glock. Nice. Yeah, so. Love that. Mm -hmm. Awesome. Yeah. So a couple of new shits with Shad. Yeah. New shits with Shad. A couple uh, nuggets. A couple, oh, God. <laughs> a couple of nuggets for you uh, with Shad. Um, we also want to remind you that in our both of our locations, if you're mm -hmm. local to the Tampa Bay area, uh, we are still holding those raffles. Sure. So the raffles are still going on. We don't have an announcement today, unfortunately. No, so coming, get in they're, there. They're getting close. So Tampa is yeah. really, really close. Okay. So get in quickly and, and buy a couple of tickets. Yes. Um, for the Springfield Armory Saint... Edge ATAC. Mm -hmm. yes. And that's an AR it's pistol. AR 15. Okay. Rifle. Rifle. Just kidding. Yes. Precision shooting rifle. Ooh, yes. very nice. Mm -hmm. And the cost on that is free if you buy a raffle ticket. Right. So it's $10, $10 a bucks. chance. So yeah. Ten, be ten bucks. Ten bucks a chance, yeah. right? Yep. Um, so that's a really cool opportunity for you to own an AR 15 for yeah. potentially. Ten dollars, and the last two, I think, yeah. only bought one That's raffle it. ticket. Yeah. So for ten dollars, these um, lucky winners won 
uh, like some firearms. Yeah, yeah really cool. Yeah. And I know, um, and definitely keep in touch with the shops and stop in because I know Tampa is getting ready to do a handgun mm -hmm. raffle. Mm -hmm. So pretty yes. excited about that. I think it's going to be for a CZ. Oh, yes. I like a CZ. Mm -hmm. Those are those are pricey guns. They're this, very nice. This particular one is yes. Nice. Yes. Well, we'll bring you that information mm -hmm. moving forward. Um, but the raffles that are going on currently right now, like Shad said, the one in Tampa is getting close, so get your tickets in now. Uh, Largo, I believe, is the Springfield? It's the, uh, no, Zeb. Oh, the Zeb. Zeb AR-15. Gotcha. Yes, with Hollow Sun Magnifier mm -hmm. and 510C. Yes. And Magpul Bipod. And the Bipod, yeah. Yes. So it has a bunch of extras on it, which is really cool because yes. that, that stuff can add up when you start adding accessories. Right. So I know Largo added a few accessories to mm -hmm. that firearm before we, we started raffling it. Yeah. So it comes with all that stuff. Yeah. So it's very, cool. very so, cool. So get in, get that raffle ticket, and um, let's get you a free gun. Yes. Woohoo. Of course, you have to pass a background check because, believe it or mm. not, you have to pass a background check in mm -hmm. order to take possession, <laughs> take of, the possession of a firearm. Yes. So, yeah. All right. So happy Friday, everybody. I hope you are going to have an awesome weekend. Yeah. Uh, we're going to talk a little bit about headlines and, um, hey. and then we'll get into <laughs> headlines. What? what? Stuff's been happening. I know. Yeah. And, and honestly, headlines weren't even, and news wasn't really something that we were going to get into. Um, but being in our industry, it kind of ties together. Right. So we started, I started doing some research on the show about headlines and different things to talk about. And um, the more I get into doing research, the more I get like, oh, the media is not telling people the truth. So I'm really excited to have this opportunity. We are excited to have this opportunity to bring you actual facts. And, um, and, and if it requires both, both sides, meaning, you know, the more conservative and the more liberal, we're going to give you both sides because we don't bullshit, right? We tell you how it is. And if it's something that, you know, either way. Yep. Okay. Absolutely. So, so we're going to bring it to you, um, with no BS. So we're excited about that. Okay. Um, all right, so bummer news first. Queen Elizabeth II yeah. passed away yesterday. Bummer. Yeah. Yep. She was pretty awesome lady. Long time. Holy crap. She was 96? Yeah. She was 96. Wow. 96. Yeah. She, she served for 70, 70, 70 years. It's amazing. That's a long time. Yeah, it's amazing. I mean, think about it. Can you imagine Trump being in for 70 years? <laughs> <laughs> oh, my gosh. <laughs> they couldn't even stand him for four. Right. Um, but 70 years of service, she was an amazing lady. I was watching some, um, some information on her and, yeah. and redoing a little bit of research, and she was a pretty fascinating lady. Um, yeah. I, I love that uh, she, a female, was running that country. For 70 years. Yep, yep. It's, um, you know, men and women are different. I know that people like to sure. think that they're not, but they are. Um, and I feel like some of the... Um, things that features and good stuff about women would be like, you know, really good to run a country. So just saying. Um, so I, I love that that is, was happening. And um, so anyway, uh, she put her people first, which is something that this administration does not do. Um, and it's, it's kind of a bummer that she's, she's gone, but she was up there, you know, and honestly, the yeah. age limit thing is kind of something that you know, we got to talk about because right. being 80, Joe Biden is going to be 80 um, in November. That's really kind of up there to be in touch with the people, right? Don't you think? What do you think about that? It's tough. 80? I know. It's, it's tough. I mean, that's I like mean, Papa running the country. I mean, I know. you know. Love you, Papa. But No, for yeah. sure. For sure, love you. But it's not about that. It's, right. about, it's about what's and, best for the people. And it's about for everybody. Sure. I mean, and unfortunately we get into the older generations that you know their way was kind of it's their way or the highway kind of deal yeah and um you know the younger generation should have a say in stuff and having somebody a little bit more in touch with that i think is a good idea absolutely yeah sometimes i'll, I'll look over at chat and we'll be talking about something and we're like man we're a little we're getting up there we're you know, know. we got to stay <laughs> we got to stay in touch <laughs> with the younger generation because they're the ones that are going to be running this this country you know mm -hmm. so we got to keep in touch with technology and different things that are going on sure. um, it's funny because our younger daughter uh, she said to me the other day only old people are on facebook mom and i'm like what you know like i love facebook what do you mean so right. facebook well <laughs> that is a non nailed it sir um 
So, so it's just funny, but we got to stay in touch with our younger generation and make sure that uh, we're listening to them and, you know, find that balance between having the experience of age, right? right? And knowing history and things like that, because you got to think the other side too, is that these younger kids don't really know what's going on. Yeah, they Uh, don't know what they don't know and they don't know a lot. (laughs) <laughs> they, really, they really have no, not, yeah. not a lot of experience in the world. So, right. so it's finding that balance between experience and, um, and age and then keeping the younger generation relevant and yeah. what their you know, technology and things like that. So very important to have that balance. Um, so really uh, a bummer that Queen Elizabeth is gone, but, yeah. um, but I guess the son... Charles, mm-hmm. he's going to be King Charles. King Charles. Oh boy, yeah. he's up there too. I don't know how old he is, but he's yeah. he's up there. Yeah. So um, he's probably got a good 10, 20 years in him, maybe. <laughs> he's going to get all stressed out. <gasps> yeah, <laughs> we'll I I kind of wish that our president was in a little bit longer. Not the current president, so right. I guess it's good that it's not. But um, it just seems like you, before you turn around, before you there's know, another one. Yep, right? There's yeah. another one coming in. And then especially if it goes from Democrat to Republican, then it's like almost, you know, they immediately erase the previous four years yeah, or let's, try, let's to. try to do whatever we can do to set things our way. And yeah. Yeah. So it's really tough because of that, you know, two party system. That's, you know, there's pros and cons, I guess, because we really want this president out now. I mean, we do. Yeah. Um, and we can't wait. But um but I feel like maybe a longer term, maybe six years. I mean, you know, because it's kind of hard. Once they start doing stuff, it's they're yeah. out, right? Then you, all of a sudden, two terms would be twelve. True. So it, it, that can turn into a, a long stretch. So yeah. maybe every four years isn't too shabby, and then you get two terms. You got eight years to try to get it done, but you got to show something in order to yeah. keep moving forward. Yeah, it's uh, it's yeah. It, it can go both ways, I guess, right? Mm -hmm. Um, So, uh, while we were gone as well, another headline, um, and uh, President Trump's house got raided. What? (laughs) By by the FBI. Um, So, that was really messed up. Um, And And they're still trying to figure figure out what's going on with that whole situation. Yeah. yeah. It's like news 24 hours a day is just all about it. It's crazy. Um, And what that... What that says to me when there's something that's on the news that's not, you know, I, I, get, I get it that it's news, but right. to have it on all day long on all the stations right. and, you know, I get it's news, but we have other news going on, right? You would think. And it, it kind of makes you think. There's going on. Right? What are what is the media not wanting us to talk about? Right? Because they're just focusing on this one thing. And so what else is going on that yep. they're not reporting? It's, it's a magician. Right. Look at this hand mm-hmm. while I'm doing something with this hand mm-hmm. kind of thing. So, yeah, I agree wholeheartedly. Okay. Um, so one of the things that, that we're not talking about and there, if we are talking about it, it's very, very, you know, small segments is the spending that's going on in this country uh, from the government. And it is really out of control. Um, there are Americans that are suffering right here. Um, I was just telling Shad that I went to the food store and I had four or five things on my list and it was $200. And I said to him, how is the average American or lower income families, how are they surviving right now? It's crazy. I mean, I feel bad for our employees. I talked to him about our employees. You know, how are they affording this? If, if I go to a, the store with four or five things on my list and it's $200, you know, this average salary and things like that. When you think about all that stuff, you know, we have Americans that are suffering here. The inflation is just killing people, the, yeah. the high gas prices, and granted they went down a little bit, but it's still pretty high. I mean, it's $80, $70, $80 to fill up your tank. Yeah. How do you afford that? Right. When, you know, so there's a lot of stuff going on uh, and we need to talk about it. And the fact that there's so much spending going on, and I'm not just talking about like $200. I mean, billions and billions of dollars are being being shipped out of the country and it's very frustrating so we need to push uh the vote okay so we have to vote and i'm going to say it vote republican period if you are a responsible gun owner um and you believe in the second amendment and you're a patriot 
um, you really, really do need to get out there and vote so we can vote. take back the vote. House yeah. and Senate. We have to take it back. We have to have don't, some sort of limit. Yeah, don't limit. go with the mentality of my vote doesn't count. A hundred percent it counts. You oh. get 20,000 of those, there's 20,000 votes. So exactly. it, does, it does count. It does so count. They do all that up. It absolutely counts. Um, so please get out there and vote. It's very, very, very important. Mm -hmm. um, November will be here Before in you know no it. time. I think it's 61 yeah. days, 60 days or something yeah. like that, I heard. So it's, it's coming yeah. up. We're, and we're, in, we're in September now. Right. So, yeah, I mean, by August. <laughs> yeah, September already. It's really yeah. flying by. Um, so we really need to curb the spending. Um, that is your money. That is my money our money um, and we need to have a little more say on where it's going because yeah. it's completely unacceptable to me that there's Americans right here suffering and we're sending billions of dollars all over the place spending it on things that we shouldn't be spending it on um, that I don't agree with so um, we really really need to, to do something about that um, something else that was going on is that the Government is hiring that 75,000 new IRS agents. Mm -hmm. So get your books in order, people. Oh, yeah. <laughs> That's terrifying. The IRS is just terrifying in itself because it's so hard to understand. Just as a citizen, it's like even prior to businesses, right. our businesses, just as, as some, an employee, it was so hard to figure out taxes and codes and things like that. I mean, it's just, it's just gibberish to me. Right. Um, so I can't imagine the average American just, you know, understanding what's going on. And now with all these people being hired, they're going to be like really cracking down and mm -hmm. punishing people that aren't necessarily doing it on purpose. Right. Right. And maybe something's wrong, but you don't understand it and you didn't know that you couldn't do this or do that, you know? Yeah. Pretty sure they're not going to be refunding people if they find something yeah. wrong. <laughs> Wouldn't that be great? Well, yeah. actually, Ms. Biltz, after reviewing, I'm going to refund you five thousand dollars. Right. That not will so never much. happen. Not yeah. So, much. yeah. So, um, so that's a little concerning. So make sure your stuff's in order and hire a good CPA, and hopefully, um, mm -hmm. it won't affect you yeah. um, the way I'm thinking. I know. It probably will. So that's kind of crappy. Yep. Um, all right, so I tried to do some research on crime because I know crime is rampant right now, like throughout the United yeah. States. It's terrifying. It that's really another is. thing the news talks about. Well, and it's accurate, and mm -hmm. that's one of the reasons why a lot of people are coming into the shops is because the fact that they don't feel safe, mm -hmm. period. And it's a shame because you should feel safe at your home or just walking around. But we just saw, uh, saw yes. something on Instagram yesterday, a guy just... Walked, walked up, right in. Walked up to somebody's house, dropped something on the lawn. I think it was like part of a bike, and literally just started to walk into their house. Mm -hmm. and it was like, what the hell? And what happened? And the guy inside the house basically the pulled homeowner. out a gun, and the guy went running out of the house, and he was still standing there while he was pointing a gun at him, telling yeah. him that he needed to leave. He was standing on and the it lawn. It was amazing that it was defiant. You know, yeah. He was kind of defiant yeah. too. Yeah. And so yeah. here's this criminal on the lawn who just entered somebody's home yeah. and is trespassing and entering. And I mean, technically, it's breaking and entering. Absolutely. So, yeah. yeah. Um, and this gentleman, homeowner, you know, had a yeah. firearm pointed at him, and he was basically walking as the guy's, you know, backing yeah, but up. But he was... He's like, you need to leave. And the he's like, you have 10 like, seconds. Yeah, yeah. And it's like, but he wasn't really moving, which was kind of surprising to me. I'd have been, I'm off like a prom dress, I'm out. <laughs> So. Yeah, it's um, it's rampant. It's uh, it, it's it's not good, and it's so important for you to be responsible for your own safety and the safety of your family and yeah. and, and loved ones. So it's very very important. And that's one of the reasons why we're in this industry. Um, police are amazing. We are you know, law enforcement supporters for Absolutely. sure, uh, but they can't be everywhere. That's right. Um, their hands are tied with finances and things like that because they're they're not getting the funding they need. I mean, I guess it's starting to turn around now but um, but they can't be everywhere it still takes them time to get Absolutely. from where they are when that call comes in if you can even call 911 right. because that guy didn't get to call 911 no. in his house right no he had no opportunity uh, no at opportunity all. the guy walked in the house you don't have time yeah. you're grabbing your gun not your phone right? right so he grabbed his gun and he he took care of it so he didn't have to fire nothing was you know right thank goodness yeah. can you imagine what would have happened if he didn't have the firearm yeah there was another instance that I, I was just reading. The, there was a 4th of July celebration with a, a man and his family, and there was mm -hmm. a whole group of people. Did you see that? I didn't. I, okay. Mm -mm. Last night I was watching it, uh, and it was just July, 4, July 4th weekend. And um, 
some lunatic came in and just started shooting, started firing, killing people. Um, and he got shot right, I think, the side of his head, and he lost one of his eyes. And as he's like on the ground, his family was screaming because they knew he had a gun. He was a concealed carry holder. Mm -hmm. um, and his family was screaming for him, and he said he can hear them screaming. And he, like, by the grace of God, like, woke up and grabbed his firearm and he took the guy out. He, he wow. shot him. And he saved his family. Right. He, the guy was literally about to start shooting his family right. and he was able to wow. defend it. So, you know, these are the things that you don't hear in the, in the mainstream media and that's yeah. why we are so thankful to be here because these are things yeah. that you need to hear because guns get such a bad rap um, and it's always like, oh, mass shootings and this, that and the other thing and it's like, no, think about it. You have to defend yourself. Right. <laughs> If, and, and again, I mean, the, the mass shootings, I mean, it's absolutely horrible. Oh, yeah. Horrible, right? Absolutely. So it's not like we're saying they. Right. But the reality is, is that's the only thing that is brought up. So right. they don't talk about how people defend themselves and are able to fight off attackers mm -hmm. or people that are trying to, you know, kill yeah. their family. So, I mean, it's... It's, it's yeah. horrible. Yeah. And, uh, and, and it's a crazy world out there. So yeah. you really, really do need to defend yourself. And, uh, and we can help you do that at Mad Dog Armory. So we yeah. would really... Um, encourage you to again share this video share our videos yeah. it, you know we give some training and some tips and things like that so we're all about educating the community and keeping the community safe with their firearms right. um, so definitely share subscribe like all that good stuff so mm -hmm. we can get the word out um, you have to protect it's up to you you can't yeah. rely on anybody else really yeah. okay That's right um, so speaking of crime, I was trying to get some data from 2021 and 2022, which I figured 2022 isn't in because it's still going on. Right. Um, and I tried to get 2021 and shockingly, nearly 40% of law enforcement agencies around the country didn't submit their data, hmm. which is so weird. And I'm like, what? So I'm doing the research and I'm like, why wouldn't they do that? And they said that it's um, partly due to politicians um, and the midterm election campaigns. They don't want it to hmm. affect the election, so they're hmm. not submitting the numbers and crime statistics in their cities. So I didn't have any I'm 2021 sure, I'm numbers. Sure it's a lot of Democratic cities, which are usually the ones that are all <sighs> jacked up anyway. So. so I have 2020 numbers okay. for crime statistics. Mm -hmm. um, the murder rate um, is up 30%, which is real, that's high. 30%? Yeah. I mean, that's really high. Yeah. So, um, so that's, that's not good. Uh, assaults increased uh, by more than 10%, and that was 2020. Okay. So crime is really up there. So, so mm -hmm. technically, if you get killed, you were assaulted. You just didn't make it. <laughs> True. Yeah. Right? But if you think about it, 30% were up, so that means more people are dying from this stuff than previously. Yeah. So. And that's just, um, that was just murder and um, assaults, right? So there's yeah. also robberies, there's all sexual battery, there's all sorts of things that I didn't put in here right. just for time purposes, but um, there's a lot of crime going on, crazy. Um, and then, well, yeah, it's, it's the fact that they're not getting prosecuted for anything, right? <laughs> like in insane. So thank goodness we're in Florida because Florida's um, oh. governor is pretty amazing um, and you we will be held for responsible. And we got responsible. some great sheriffs too, right? Grady Judd. Oh, oh yeah, Grady me. Judd. Woo uh, he's not too far away from us. Holy crap, man. That guy is no fucking nonsense. He's wow. amazing. Yeah, yeah. He's, he's definitely no nonsense. He's like, oh yeah, you're going to come in our city? Well, <laughs> well, you better be prepared, you know? So, um, so and I love that. And yep. it's not to be intimidating. It's not to be, you know, threatening. It's it's just, this is our home. This is our belongings that we've worked hard for. Like, right. this is my body. You are not allowed to just violate any of those things. It's, right. it's a crime. It's illegal, right? Um, so uh, it's unacceptable here in Florida. So that's, that's right. amazing. Now, however, in Illinois... Illinois. Illinois. <laughs> I know people from Illinois <laughs> probably hate that, right? Um, Illinois... Um, I couldn't believe it. We're, we're, Shad and I are at home and we're watching something. something yeah. and, and then I see this thing come up and I'm like, what? So I started doing some research on it. So Illinois, get ready for this. Illinois is going to uh, enact the Illinois Safety Act. Okay. So violent crimes, burglary, robbery, arson, kidnapping, almost 
all drug offenses, even drug distribution, so mm -hmm. selling drugs, DUI offenses, um, and DUI offenses including fatalities, so um, what is that, manslaughter, manslaughter yeah. um, they do not, they will not detain people for that anymore moving forward in 2023. Criminals will be released immediately if they are arrested um, or within a couple of days and there is no more, they're abolishing, they're only state that is abolishing cash bail. So violent, there will not be prosecuted or, or arrested, they right. said arrested. Right. Um, they will be Viol prosecuted, but who's prosecuted, to say they don't show up or they correct. just skip town or do right. whatever they need, you know, violent crime, let go. Burglary, robbery, arson. So if somebody like lights your house on fire, it's crazy. They're not going to be punished for it. So what are you telling the criminals? Do whatever you like. Hello. <laughs> How is this not like no brainer, right? Uh, we had I had somebody in the shop in our Largo location um, day before yesterday, I think, and he was from Illinois. And he said, there's no chance in hell he's ever moving back there. He was born and raised there. He's been down here for a couple of years now. And his kids still live there. And he's like, there's, I'm not going back to visit. Nothing. That place is a shit show. It's, it's such a shame, too, because yeah. we were in, I mean, Chicago is like, yeah. you know, the city is beautiful. beautiful that that, that nut thing, that bean, oh, yeah, yeah, you know, yeah. we went there. Our daughter was in um, boot camp, right? Mm -hmm. Was it boot camp? Yeah. Um, yeah. So we went there and we had a great time. Um, right. But it's like... It's, that's not good. No. That is not good. That is almost encouraging people to commit crimes. I mean, come on now. Like, let's right. get with it. So vote Republican people, okay? Um, <laughs> sorry, but I'm saying that, but I'm saying yeah. it. Um, all right, so federal, da, da, da. okay. So I'm all about, I was doing some research on impeaching the president, so hopefully we can take it. Take yeah, everything. Trump got impeached too, but it doesn't really mean yeah. Objection. I know that's true. That's yeah. true too. Um, Everybody gets impeached nowadays. Yeah, exactly. Um, so I was going to talk a little bit about the billions of dollars we've been spending mm -hmm. and sending out of state, or out of state, out of, out state, out of country. country. Right. Um, so we'll touch on that really quick. Eighty-three billion dollars was left in Afghanistan, um, uh, worth of millions of dollars worth of aircraft, armored vehicles, yep. defensive equipment are now in the hands of the Taliban. And there was Eighty-three. Cash. There was billion yeah, dollars. There was a bunch of cash that was left there. I mean, just flat out moolah. Yes. Amazing. And, and then like, and then there's you could have, I think hundreds of millions of dollars oh, yeah. of cash. Yeah, it's it was insane. actually yeah. And then um, and then of course there's Ukraine. Uh, mm -hmm. so according to state.gov, uh, thirteen point five billion b billion. So I'm like billion. That just is a lot of money, right? So do you know how much a billion dollars mm -hmm. covers in you know, if you the laid out a billion dollars, I told you in the car, so I'm not going to have you guess yeah. because you're going to guess right. Crazy. Four square miles for one billion. Right. Which now, means. Is that $1 bills or is that $100 bills? $100 bills. $100 bills. $100 bills yep. covers four square oh, miles. Oh, sorry. $1 bills. $1 sorry, 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 sorry. Yeah. The area covered by one billion $1 bills measures four square miles. That's freaking insane. It's insane, That's right? Crazy. I mean, one mile is a lot. <laughs> four, four miles. Square. Yeah. Yeah. Insane. Okay. So Ukraine, hey, you're getting three, 13.5 billion, 400 million in equipment. Defense.gov said 12.7 billion. Um, and then there's also, in addition to that, they've gotten grant funding, 8.5 billion. And 22 hours ago, defense.gov announced that they're getting another 675 million dollars. That is our money, mm -hmm. you, me, Rob, everybody, everybody's money, um, and the, the tax is being raised, that's paying for this money that they're sending overseas. Yeah, we have homeless, we have all sorts of issues. <sighs> Veterans, yeah. yep. And military equipment for current military, which is lacking right now. So uh, we need to do something. Let's band together, um, shut the news off, people, because it's all skewed, and listen to Shad and Jillian. <laughs> and let's move on to, to right. guns. So that's cool. our news. That is, uh, we, news. we got you up to date on everything. We want to give it to you straight because I'm telling yeah. you, things aren't getting reported. There are... Somebody in uh, one of the 
people in New York, one of the senators or whoever, I don't know, governor, um, was the new female. Do you know who that is? Is it governor? Um, I think she might. Well, I, yeah, I think it was governor. The head of governor. New York something yeah. was saying, good guys with guns don't stop bad guys with guns. And I'm like, what? Yes, they do. I just give you two examples. Mm -hmm. So it's 100% what stops a bad guy with a gun is a good guy with a gun or yeah. girl. Yep. So don't believe what you're hearing from people sometimes. Okay, so let's get into today's show's topic. Safes. Safes. Okay. Storage. Storage. Right, not necessarily just safes, but storage, right? Storage. Because you do need to safely store your firearm. Yep. So. Absolutely. From anybody, whoever yes. that might be. Children, just people that aren't supposed to have it. You want to safely store your firearm. Absolutely. So, we brought some smaller mm -hmm. items here, but we also have some bigger items that, we can, that we're going to talk about as well that, yes. that aren't physically here. But. Yep. In the state of Florida, it mm -hmm. is required uh, for you to safely store your firearm. So mm -hmm. um, not only is it required, but it's just, uh, you have to do it. I mean, yeah. it's just, um, you don't want to deal with, thing. thank you, that's yeah. the word I was looking for. Um, but Florida statute states that a, a, a loaded firearm in the home can be stored in a locked box container or secured with a trigger lock if the owner reasonably believes that a child under the age of 16 can gain access to the firearm. Right. So it's very, very important for you not to have minors, right? And even felons, we've talked about mm -hmm. this, somebody that is yeah. even untrained. So let's just say a husband brings home a gun and he's like, shows his wife and she's like, oh my God, you know, I don't want anything to do with that, blah, whatever. Well, she's untrained. So mm -hmm. let's just say that somebody... Something she hears happens, a noise, right? right? Yeah. She hears a noise in the night, you're bowling, <laughs> and she goes and grabs the gun and shoots herself because you know why? She's not trained. So you can do that. You can yeah. hurt yourself. Accidents happen. Absolutely. You have to be trained. So um, come to us. I'd love to teach her. I have a ladies only class that I can, I can help her out if it doesn't work that she doesn't want to be taught by you or you're getting frustrated or whatever. It's not easy to teach somebody something, right? Yeah, significant others trying to teach each other Nine times out of ten, it does not go well. Yeah. And it's just, it's okay. It yeah. just is. Yeah. So Have a professional I, do it. I had a hard time starting mm -hmm. training, and it just didn't. So we sought other training, yeah. which was great. And that's so, how this whole thing happened. Absolutely. So it's not a bad thing. It's, nope. it's actually, for us, it was an amazing thing that happened because that's how Mad Dog Armory was founded. That's right. Uh, so... Just do your best to make sure that when you have a firearm in the home, on your person, in your car, wherever it is, if you own a firearm, you have to be responsible. Yes. You have to responsibly um, safely store it and carry it and all that stuff. And anybody that's around it or has access to it um, that is legally allowed to has to be trained as well. I mean, yeah. not has to be, but should, should be. be. Should be. It's not yeah. required, but it's just a no-brainer. Yeah, I mean, you should want to know the most you can mm -hmm. about something, whatever it is that you're dealing with, especially sure. with a firearm, right, just because of what the firearm is capable of doing. So we want to respect it, right? Mm -hmm. The word is not fear. We want to respect what it can do. Right. And in getting the training, you're going to respect that a little bit more. I think. Absolutely. So. Absolutely. For sure. So, um, so you want to safely store it. So... Um, Everyday life storage options, right? Mm -hmm. So like Shad mentioned, we do have big safes in mm -hmm. the stores. So when I'm talking about big safes, you know, they're the ones that you can put in a closet, in the garage, in your living room. It doesn't mm -hmm. matter where. I mean, they're making them so nice nowadays. I yes. mean, they can literally be furniture. Yeah. I mean, some of the finishes are just inside and out are phenomenal. Really nice. Yeah, yeah. Like Paul. We have yeah. a friend that has an amazing looking safe. It's got like leather and studs and like, it's, it's beautiful. beautiful. It's in the, it's in his living room and it fits right in. I mean, it's yeah. beautiful. So, yeah. um, so you're going to pay for it. Oh yeah. Ultimately. Right. But the reality is, it's absolutely a, a work of art. It is. It is. It's beautiful. Yep. Um, so, uh, safes come in all different sizes. Mm -hmm. Um, so you have like small safes, so we'll get into that. So like a small safe would be something like this, right? So this is, um, made by snap safe, uh, or yep. yeah, snap safe. Um, and this guy's just going to be a single gun holder, mm -hmm. right? So this could be something that you're interested in, um, that just has a key that opens it up. Um, and then you can store it there. I don't know if this one comes with a cable lock. Yes, it, it does. does. Yep. So the cable lock that's inside yep. is... Mm -hmm. It actually can fit in the side over here, which then you can wrap... A lot of people use it for vehicles, yes. right? Like that particular thing. So you it doesn't can, get stolen. Correct. You kind of wrap it around underneath the seat through the, uh, the structure of the seat. Mm -hmm. 
locks back into itself so nobody can just pull it out and run away with it. Correct. So, so the cable's great. I love mm -hmm. that it comes with that. I mm -hmm. mean, this is like, I want to say $20, $30, something like that, $30, $37 yeah. or so. Um, and that's a very affordable option. Yep. So, and, the, and you don't have to have it in your car, but you have that lock that mm -hmm. you can't, the cable lock that'll go around your seat, like you said. And ultimately, you could, if you wanted to put it around something else in your house or something mm -hmm. like that, you could. And sure. again, that's just another way to keeping it from leaving. Correct. From somebody so. stealing it. Mm -hmm. So it is important because you don't want somebody, even though it's in a safe, to just grab it and run away, right? right? because um, they will eventually get that open Yes, they will. Uh, if they want to. So yeah. that's a really great option that's affordable mm -hmm. and it keeps your firearm not, not accessible to anybody else unless they have the key, right? right. Or, or they steal it. So um, there's nothing you can do about that uh, if somebody steals it. So that's a great option for handgun, mm -hmm. right? They also make things like this for long guns. Mm -hmm. um, and what it's going to do is the long gun is going to go through it and this is going to, yep. the receiver part, yep. right? Yep. So it's, you know, the, the stock and the, the barrel, barrel is going to stick out, but the actual middle part where the trigger is, is going to be yep. They have in. some for shotguns mm -hmm. and some for ARs, specifically for ARs, yep. which is getting a little bit different. There you go. So, it's on your screen. Yep. yep. There you go. Yeah. So that's perfect for mm -hmm. ARs, AR pistols, um, mm -hmm. shotguns, like Shad said. So great options, great affordable options mm -hmm. that don't take up a lot of space and will keep your firearm safe. Yep. Right. A lot of people mount those like in the closets and stuff like that, mm -hmm. so it's kind of hidden out of the way. Sure. But still accessible. Yeah. So, yeah. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. So that's a great option. Um, there's also this guy over here that's a little uh, more bulky, mm -hmm. uh, so you're going to want to try to find a space for it. And that'll hold a couple of more things. So that... A couple of firearms, potentially. Sure. Maybe some ammo or, mm -hmm. you know, if you mm -hmm. have any other kind of... Yeah. Maybe little documents or something you might want to keep in there, but you can store yep. some stuff in Bring there. Bring it over sure. so you can see. Um, so yeah, so this will definitely hold at least two firearms, depending on what it yep. is. If it's a Desert Eagle, maybe well, you could probably still fit another yeah, one in there. there. Yep. Um, so this is a cool one. It has a keypad on the top, and then it also has the key. So you're going to want something like that. So keypads are great because you can punch in your key. Yep. Um, and then the key is always a great backup. And then there's also the biometric op option, which is right. your fingerprint, mm -hmm. right? So that's going to be a quick thing. Um, I've had some kind of, un, you know, hit, not great. Yeah, yeah, I don't like the that. I, the biometric, you know, some people swear by it, but personally, I haven't had really great luck with it. I've had to like swipe a bunch of times. And mm -hmm. if you think about High it, stressful situation. Well, and we actually had somebody, friends of ours that have one similar to this mm -hmm. and they forgot the combination. I know. <laughs> you know, so again, it's kind of one of those things. Mm -hmm. So, um, I know that, uh, Hornady mm -hmm. has some that have RFID. Yes. So whether it's a bracelet, so you kind of go mm -hmm. up to that, a card, but then it's very easy to for somebody, somebody else to, else have to one. grab it. Yeah. Right. So it's 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 about yeah. There's pros and cons tough. to everything. You just yep. have to find what's comfortable for you. I love a keypad. I like a key, but you got to remember if you have just a keyed one mm -hmm. and it's two o'clock in the morning and you know it's dark. Where, where's my key? Where's, where's the, the key? For the key? Where's all that stuff? Yeah. Exactly. Yeah, you know. So you got to be careful and you got to practice. You got to make sure that you're. Uh, your, oh, I like that it does that. I didn't know it, it did that. Out. Yeah. Um, so whatever you choose to store your firearm, you've got to practice getting to it, getting, getting it open, and getting to your firearm. We say that all the time. Training, yeah. training, training, training. That practice, doesn't just practice, mean practice. with yeah. your firearm. That means with everything. That How you're means getting to it. Situations. Who's getting to it? Who's calling 911? That's who's right. getting the gun? How, do you, how are you getting the gun open? Do you have a flashlight by the key, which is a great idea, yep. um, so you can see what you're doing uh, and getting it open. So yeah. these are two small, great options, but yep. we have tons of others um, just for the sake of carrying things in. Uh, we, we only brought a few. Right. Um, this one is also another great one, too. Cool. This one yep. is um, something that opens down. And if you can open that, I don't have my glasses on. Um, but what, what happens is a lot of NRA and, and other uh, companies suggest that you store your firearms vertically um, because it's easy to get to. So the firearm in this guy is going to go down. Woo! Oh, I had my Just thumb got there. Got my fingers. Yep. Um, it's going to go down straight in, right? So the firearm. So it mounts. You can either mount it sideways, but it's better to mount it upright mm -hmm. like this. And it opens so, And it literally out. just clamshells yep. down. So here's the pad. There's the key. And the gun Grab is going to sit right there. Yep. Pretty awesome, right? I love this guy. Yes. And this is great for on the side of your dresser, potentially. Headboard. Um, your head. Stuff like Big headboard, yeah. Yeah. Right? I mean, like behind a headboard. Mm -hmm. so 
Your uh, desk? Under a desk. Under a desk. Under a desk. Yeah. Yes, absolutely. Really, yeah. really great option for that because yep. I like the vertical mm -hmm. because you can just grab it. You know, when it's sitting in a safe, you have to kind of go sideways and pull it yeah. out. Either way, honestly, it's just seconds difference. And this is a single, this is only single. for one mm -hmm. firearm. Correct. So one handgun. Mm -hmm. And it'll do different sizes, but reality, a full size yeah. is going to be better. Just accessibility in order to yeah. grab. The small, like, little carry guns it's are going to kind of get lost. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, yep. for sure. Yep. So, so those are some really great options. The mm -hmm. vertical I like, um, and again, you got to try different things. So you're just going to find what you like, yep. and um, you know, you can also do something like this, which is just a very inexpensive whoop case. And your gun may come in a case like this. It right. depends on the gun mm -hmm. that you have, right? I mean, we have the Sig that um, Shad's going to talk about in a few minutes, um, and this is the case that it comes in. Yep. So it has a little lock. Yep. Two little hole. holes right there that you can use for locks for. Yeah. yeah. The only box. the only thing with these guys um, in having this little um, lock space mm -hmm. that you can put a lock in is again, if it's a combination, mm -hmm. you have to do the combination in order it, for it right. to get open. Um, and then again, these locks are going to be very very small, mm -hmm. so um, the key is going to be tiny. You're going to have to get it in, and get the lock off. Um, again, just yep. practice. Get quick at it. Make sure that you can access it when you need it. Yes. To find that balance between safely storing your firearm and right. having it accessible to you. Right. Because that's a big mistake that people make is that they're like, I am so, you know, secure with my gun. I have the trigger lock on and then I have the ammo downstairs and my mag is upstairs. And, and I'm like, hmm? <laughs> yeah, so what Good luck. when you need it? Right, yeah. exactly. So... Like the guy that we talked about earlier, right? He had to have had his gun either on his person or very, very close to the front yeah, door because absolutely. that guy walked in and he immediately had his yeah. gun and was backing him up out yep. of the house. So you have to have oh, your gun accessible. Didn't back up out of the house. That guy ran out of the house. <laughs> that guy was, so, yeah, he's like, I got to get the hell out of here. Well, he got out quick, yep. but then he didn't leave the property right, exactly. very quick. Yep. But um, so have your gun accessible to you but safely stored. So right. I know it's like, mm, but yep. you got to practice it. That's it. It's responsibility. So accessible. accessible. Magnets. magnets. Magnets are a great option. These Absolutely. guys are strong. They will hold a shotgun. They will hold a rifle. Um, right. I had it on something. Um, I mean, I'm lifting this up. I don't know if you can see, but I, I literally am lifting this very heavy safe up with it. Uh, magnets are an amazing thing to, to hold your firearm yes, and to store it. Now, with that said, you have to be careful because it's not actually secured, meaning like it's, it's got a locked. safe. Right, it's, it's got not you know, it's like it's that. not encased in anything. Right. Um, you're gonna just have the firearm on there, so you have to be careful. So keep it unloaded or something like that. But or, whatever. You do it if you want to have mm -hmm. another. Maybe you have a trigger lock or something mm -hmm. like that. So you can have it on and do a trigger lock. So it's a combination of things potentially. Potentially. Um, again. What, Up to what, you. What's, the what's your situation? Yep, Correct. absolutely. If you live home alone, mm -hmm. not as big of a deal sure. right, as having kids or. Mm -hmm other people in the house. Absolutely. So, yeah. uh, and you can use these for your car mm -hmm. and the house. We love these. Yeah. We have these all over the house. All over the house. <laughs> Everywhere. So very cool. And you can keep it hidden mm -hmm. um, and still have it accessible. Yep. Very good. Um, what else do we got here? Well, some of the other stuff we have is more mm -hmm. for some of the bigger safes. Yes. Right? To help kind of provide. Accessories. Um, yep. More storage mm -hmm. capabilities inside, inside these larger safes yeah. that are going to provide more protection. Yes. So these little guys right here, not really fire rated. proof mm -hmm. or fire rated, mm -hmm. um, whereas the bigger guys are going to have fire ratings, which yeah. to talk about those a little bit. Um, sure. Usually it gets into X amount of minutes at a X amount of heat. We deal with Holland and mm -hmm. Holland's heat is rated at 1400 degrees. Mm -hmm. Um, and then their minute ratings are based, it's going to be anywhere from, I think they have like 15 minutes is the, the thinnest, um, all the way up to two hours. And you're talking about the gauge, like the steel. Right, the so the steel they use, and there's also some other stuff inside of there, but the steel is going to be thicker mm -hmm. on heavier safes that allow more, what I call burn time. Yep. Right, so up to two hours worth of burn time at 1,400 degrees. Right. So, yeah. You know. So you do want to look at that because that's important. It is. Uh, the fire rating is what we're talking about mm -hmm. on the, the larger safes um, because fires uh, burn houses to the ground in less than 60 minutes sometimes. So, so yeah. average is like 60 minutes an average house would burn down. Right. Um, that's a pretty quick time. And yeah. um, something small like this, you can grab and go, right, right, if you're in the house. However, those bigger ones, you're not you're grabbing. Not, <laughs> you're, you're not grabbing, grabbing and going. You're not sure. grabbing and going. So yeah. you want to have 
that fire rating and that protection yep. um, to secure your items so yep. they don't burn up, especially if you have like cash or coins or, you know, right? right. So things like that, that you because might. Ultimately, you don't need a safety deposit box anymore, right? Now you mm -hmm. have your safety deposit box at home. So mm -hmm. you can keep all of your documents or any kind of other valuables, not just firearms in there. Absolutely. So. Um, and that's a great segue to the other products that yeah. we brought because we carry, uh, we stock in our shops a lot of different accessories for your bigger safes because, mm -hmm. uh, believe it or not, the biggest um, mistake that people make when they're buying a safe is buying it too small mm -hmm. uh, because you'd be surprised how quickly you can yeah. fill Th up your safe. This is the size I need right now. Correct. Well, you want to be able to kind of... Think ahead build mm -hmm. into it basically so yeah and it's not just firearms right sure. it's other items mm -hmm. so like this this guy's pretty cool so this is um it's got like a little shelf uh holder it's a shelf holder right. and basically it goes on the um the shelf of your safe and yep. then you can put documents in there um so we have like a bunch of different things our passports our birth certificates and things like that and it doesn't take up much space it goes mm -hmm. right underneath the shelf yep. so even though we have something like this holding on the guns top the on top of the shelf mm -hmm. right so this will hold handguns right here and um, we have ones that are three six eight something 10, ten. Yep. um so you can just put your your pistols there mm -hmm. your handguns there and then keep your documents right underneath it so there's a lot of really cool accessories and products that are out there for your big safes dehumidifier right yes so ultimately we want to make sure that moisture doesn't doesn't get in and so important and rust your your firearms or anything else in there mm -hmm. so Yep. Yeah, especially in Florida, mm -hmm. right? The High sea, humidity. yeah, the the salt air yep. um, is really very bad for your guns. Yep. Um, and and if that's another reason to safely store them, I mean, it's really important for you to have them in some sort of absolutely good case, right? Yep. Um, there was a used gun that came in not too long ago to our shop that was in uh, it was a rifle actually mm -hmm. or a long gun, and it was in like a furry. Uh, zippered case mm -hmm. and man we pulled it out and it was like full of the, the of fur rust. disintegrated yeah. the gun was rusty it was just horrible and here's this it, person thinking they're doing the yeah, right thing but got a little bit of humidity in there got a little bit of water or whatever ruined in it. It, and it just absolutely yeah yeah, ruined it. yeah it's really you have yeah. to make sure I mean you, this is an investment that you make with your firearms yeah. it needs to work when you need it to work you That's have right. to take care of it um, and, and these items are going to help you do all of that. So yeah. very, very good to have a de dehumidifier. And there's tons of different options out yeah. there for you. I know our Tampa store has like a little baggie now. That's mm -hmm. something new that I, I didn't yeah. see. Um, so it doesn't have to be this big. Uh, lots, lots of different options. Some you plug in. So mm -hmm. some of the safes might have outlets inside of them that are fed from outside that mm -hmm. allow you to plug stuff in, whether it's a watch winder or stuff like that. So yeah, there's lots of options. A watch winder? A watch winder. Yes. Do you need that for your guns? You need it no, for your watch. No, but maybe you maybe you have expensive watches oh, and you want to yeah. store those in your That's safe. That's true. Jewelry, mm -hmm. yes. Watches, like money, yeah. um, all that stuff. Yeah. So so you do fill up your you're safe pretty mm -hmm. good. We have a ton of stuff um, in ours. And but it's there's some plug-in dehumidifiers. For yes, us okay. So there are some plug-in like, dehumidifiers also. Yeah, okay, um, got so it. So you just plug them directly in as opposed to this, which you keep in until it's full. You pull it out, you plug it in, and it gets all the, the water out of it, and then you put it back in. Oh, fantastic. So, okay, mm -hmm. that's very cool. Yes. Cool. Um, another product that's very cool because if you have long guns mm -hmm. you uh, and handguns, you have. What do you do with the boxes and the mm -hmm. cases? And yep. it's you know when you start a collection, you have just stacks of boxes because if you want to get, store your firearm, it's not going to be in it in its box, right? right. Usually at your house. Yep. So you'll wind up having just endless boxes or um, cases. So long guns, a lot of times you get a soft case because you're going to the range or whatever's going on. Um, and where do you put all these cases? We have the, the problem of just stacking them on top of on top the, safe, of the safe and then they're exactly. falling over and they're sliding <laughs> and then you try to stack them on the side. Well, this right. is a really, really great product. Um, it's a magnet safe hook right so it just basically has magnets under here and yeah, it's I tell you what, that sucker it's strong on. right crap. it's so strong yeah. so this is just plastic but yeah. um i'll take this one home but it basically just snaps on like with the magnet and then you can hang your your bags and from like it said, and it, it holds it, it a ton handle, of them it can handle some weight yeah so it's it's pretty impressive it's really great and yeah. um 
this is something that nobody told me about, and mm -hmm. we, we did that whole stacking on top of the safe, and they were all sliding off yep. and all that um, until I found this product, and it's really, really awesome. So these hooks yep. are great for, for hanging those bags, yep. uh, for sure. All sorts of stuff hanging off of the mm -hmm. safe. Yep. Yep. Um, and then some other stuff. Um, so that carry bag, you know. Yep. Again, it's just a another way to get your soft firearm, case. right? To and from maybe the range or mm -hmm. something like that. So yeah. lots of different options. But it also has the zipper that you can lock, yep. right? Oh, this one doesn't have two. So I'm just... No, but you can lock it here. Oh, gotcha. Okay, yep. so yeah. So the, between mm -hmm. the zipper having a hole in it and then this guy here, yep. you can lock it through yep. here yep. Um, to secure Again, it. It's a deterrent, mm -hmm. you know, ultimately. It's yeah. a way just to kind of keep it away from somebody that doesn't give them quick access to it, yeah. realistically. I mean, could somebody get into that? Yes, but it's going to take some time to get into it. Yeah, so. for sure. Um, okay, so one other thing I want to show that magnet, uh, magnet, uh, magazine holder. So this is another cool item that I found because um, owning a gun shop, as you can imagine, we have a pretty big collection, um, and most rifles come with one magazine, but then, as Shad says, you can never have enough, right? Never have enough magazines, never have enough ammo. Good advice. Um, so this is a really cool option um, because it holds your magazines. So it goes in the safe and you can hold 10. I don't even know how many, but I have a couple of these in the safe um, and I also mm -hmm. have some in a closet and it's really cool because you can hold them yeah. this way. Because stacking yeah, the did. AR magazines, even though Shad did an amazing job okay. stacking these guys behind me, right. um, they don't normally sit in a safe like that. Right. They, they don't like click in where they would be, yeah. um, you know, able to be stacked. So this allows you to stack them yeah. in a way that um, doesn't take up much space and is able to, and to do Easily that. accessible. Easily yeah. accessible when you need it. And it's a very cool item. So yep. uh, I wanted to bring that to your attention because a magazine cool. rack, you can also put it on the wall, yep. the picture in the back, um, so you can secure it like to the side or, you know, if you have your safe in yep. an area where you can put it in a closet right or something in. like that, you can attach it to the wall. So it's a really cool item as well mm -hmm. if you have uh, a lot of magazines, which um, a lot of people do when you have a gun. Mm -hmm. So, um, all right. So those are those items. Do yep. you want to do new shit with Shad? Sure, why not? And if at any time you have any questions um, about any of the items that we talked about or any questions for Shad and I, please reach out. You can yeah. email us at tacticaltalk at mdarmory.com yep. and we would be more than happy to answer any questions you have about anything that we talked about today. Yep. Okay, so let's hit new shit with Shad. Hey, welcome back. <laughs> hey, welcome to Tactical Talk. Ooh, who am I? <laughs> All right, so what do we have here? We have a new SIG P365 macro. Mm. So have you seen this yet? I have not. Hands on it? All right, so newest and greatest thing from SIG Sauer, 17 rounds. Wow. Of 9mm in a nice small package so ultimately this is still a sig p365 slide it's compensated so it's a little longer it's the same length as an xl okay so ultimately yes but no so same length as an xl barrel length is about the same as a regular p365 and then you just have the comp on it so the newer version also allows us to put on a red dot without having to remove the rear sight nice. whereas the old x series you had to remove the rear sight in order to put on a red dot. So that has since changed because I have something else next to show you on that as well. Uh, nice flat trigger, but try wow. that little baby out. It is really, really nice. So the same capacity as a Glock 17. I mean, in such a small package. Right. Awesome. And we did kind of do a little test on it lengthwise, and the X series, it's about a half an inch longer and it goes from 12 rounds to 17 rounds. Wow. So pretty freaking phenomenal. Currently, we have these in the shop. Come in and check them out. Sweet. Yes. 17 rounds 17 in that little rounds. baby it package. Is phenomenal. I we'll say do, baby we'll package. Do, yeah, we'll do a little bit more on it later on. Okay. Um, in another show. Okay. And then we have a SIG P365 XL. We just got in the new TAC pack. And they are. Do this one later. Yep. 
Wanted to bring this up because the new XL, there you go. What is that? So this is a new XL tack pack and they are now shipping all of, I'm assuming all the X's and XL's now come with rear sights and you don't have to remove your rear sight in order to get your okay. red dot. Okay. So I just thought that was kind of cool. Cool. So tack pack, you're going to get a couple mags and a holster. Uh, three mags, I think it is. Yeah, three mags and a holster on the tack packs. That's new. Tack packs, um, meaning it's the SIG Tactical 365 package. XL Tac package. Tack pack. Yeah. Tactical package. So you're going to get an extra mag, basically, and a holster. Gotcha. Whereas normally you don't get that stuff. So it usually comes with two mags. This comes with three mags and a holster. Okay. Yeah. So, so is it an outside the waistband holster, inside the waistband? Do we it's, know? It does both. Okay. You're going to have wings on both of them. Nice. So okay. Like that. Either wings and this is to make any kind of adjustments, but you'll have either belt or wings. Nice. To do inside or outside the waistband. Very cool. Yes. So what is the size difference between these two guys here? So the biggest difference is going to be capacity size. Okay. And then the actual size of the firearm. Yep. So, so the actual size of the firearm is going to be very similar. Yep. So gotta hard to get. I know, it's so yeah, hard to get. Got to drop the mag in order to get the, that slide down. So. Oh yeah. There you go. Hold it up, babe. Holding it up. Holding it up. So realistically, they are pretty much the exact same length and same width because these slides can go across both of them. So the biggest thing is going to be the bottom, your um, grip, grip module. And somebody was actually in the shop the other day and brought up a very good point that you could get one of these a little bit cheaper than getting into some Spectre or some other higher end ones and just get a different grip module. So you could have this on this frame if you wanted to, or even on a 10 round frame. SIG's so awesome. So, yes, Thank very interchangeable. You. That is so cool. Yes. I'm a big Six Sour fan, so thank mm -hmm. you for bringing that up. Likewise. New items from Shad, yep. and check them out in the store. Thank you for joining, and we'll see you next week at 6 p.m. on. Bye.